The Matatu Cree Welfare Association has complained about discrimination in the Matatu Industries justice system. This is because the Matatu vehicles operating on the Ngong Nairobi route have been notorious for breaking traffic laws in broad daylight in front of traffic police. The Matatus are said to belong to the son of a prominent high-level government official and police are reportedly afraid to arrest them for fear of losing their jobs or being transferred. According to the association, the two vehicles violate the law by blocking and harassing other operators. They claim to have reported the matter to the traffic police, but the cops are afraid to handle the matter. According to reports, the vehicles lack PSV insurance and are not registered with any circle. Jasper, an inventor in the Matatu sector, told Citizen TV, A little digging and a quick search of the Matatu revealed that they are not on the official NTSA portal. They also lack road service licenses and have not undergone inspection. An inspection search revealed that one Matatu was not inspected. Citizen TV also investigated whether the two Matatus were registered with any circle and the results were shocking. In most cases, Vehicles at the railway stage must wait up to four hours to be able to transport passengers, but these vehicles are said to violate these guidelines. In a verified video, one of the matatus along the railways is seen dropping off passengers and causing an obstruction in front of a police officer. The vehicle was also seen reversing in front of police officers to pick up passengers ahead of other cars that had been waiting in line for hours. The police are said to be aware of the situation but have not taken any action, claiming to have been threatened. Cities TV also conducted a search on the ownership of the vehicles, which revealed that the son of a prominent politician whose name has been withheld for security reasons, does indeed own them. The crew operators plan to hold demonstrations next week on Wednesday, August 7th, if nothing is done on the same. They claim that they are not against anyone doing business, but rather that everyone should follow the law. Before Matatu operators can conduct business, they must meet a number of requirements set by the NTSA. One requirement is that the vehicle have a valid inspection certificate, insurance coverage, and a valid road service license. Another requirement is that once you have determined which route you want to take, you must find a Matatu circle to join. Circles are required for all Matatus. Season TV has since determined that the aforementioned Matatus are not in any circle. You are now up to date. What is your view concerning this story? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.